Hello YouTube, I know you missed my saying, uh, not really, uh, anyhow my Heads family is getting bigger, better, badder, so I just finished the spectrum analyzer, just in case you're wondering this is because of my audio signal uh, from the computer, if it's of course not the best. Normally you have nothing on here when there is no music. This is my color version of the spectrum analyzer I did show you before. But now it's in the enclosure and whatnot. Uh, I didn't finish the back yet. Um, I just did it today. So this is my canvas gauge. Um, this is the spectrum analyzer, obviously it has three modes as you saw. Uh, this is a mono version, meaning uh, left and right channel gets combined and shown on one display. I will have a dual version as well for left and right channel. Uh, this is my clock, as you have seen before. This is my... Um, my remote I showed you also before so and this is my altimeter um, let me start with this uh, I had a customer ask about the altimeter the other day and I offered him custom colors and I even told him that I could make the green uh, in red which would uh, look like the night mode so that was that i can of course uh customize the colors not the bitmaps but i can customize i mean i could customize the bitmaps but that's going to be uh quite a bit of work but i can easily customize the colors to your liking uh, if you have want blue green red yellow purple whatever you like um, Okay, well, the newest edition was the spectrum analyzer, and uh, I also finished the the other part of the two-way remote, which will also double as a um, CAN bus node. Um, now it's on to writing the codes for it. Uh, don't mind that the transceiver is sitting this high. It will not sit that high. I just put female pin headers on here so I can try different versions because I also have a version without the external antenna but with the um, PCB antenna. So I will solder male headers here and then be able to try it and the final version will be of course uh, slimmer. Not that it matters much because it's gonna get mounted in the car and uh, this is small enough to go anywhere i also put a female pin header for the uh, code upload instead of having i do have normally pads there and i use the usb adapter with the pogo pins but uh, i will probably upload code to this hundreds of times so then it's easier to just have the usb adapter uh, plugged in directly so I don't have to hold it and as I said this is also just plugged in so I can change it around um, so I will be doing the code for this and actually can't wait to get actual uh, two-way communication between the handheld remote and this one 
as I said it many times, it's two-way. Uh, this has also the BMP 180 sensor on it, so you could monitor your temperature in the car. Uh, for all the people that heard this many times before, I do apologize. But uh, I just feel like I should mention it. And then it also has the ADXL345 accelerometer chip on it. So that would be useful for detection, uh, for detecting impact on the car like it is on here. Same chip. And uh, sending the notification to the receiver. Um, <clears throat> well, I call the sender receivers this also because it's a transceiver, it's two-way. It goes back and forth. So this is it. And I also wanted to show my uh, GPS tracker. Ian uh, wanted to see it. And uh, this is a small tracker. It has a micro USB card. And you plug the card in. Power it up. And that's all you need to do. And it starts tracking. It has a on LED. Uh, it has a power LED. And it has a LED for pulses per second when it does receive signal so you have uh, visual confirmation it also has a blue LED that blinks every time it does write to the SD card um, it does record in the GPX format that you can uh, drag and drop onto Google Earth and see your traveled route including date, time, speed uh, heading, uh, what else? I think that was it. Elevation. So it shows all that data. All that data gets recorded onto the micro SD card. And uh, this is it. It's uh, pretty small. I should call it, maybe I did the ice cube. No, not sugar. Sugar cube tracker. I called the clock ice cube clock because uh, the old clock because it had the uh, white. Uh, case 3d printed case so this is the tracker uh, and actually uh, thank you uh, Ian because you gave me an idea you asked uh, if I could use instead of the GSM module to transmit data uh, any other wireless and uh, I could technically combine it with this with a transceiver obviously so and this has um, <coughs> excuse me uh, this has a five kilometer range or about three miles so of course it's not uh, endless but then I mean if you have a tracker that's around the world uh, it's not gonna do you much either not much good either so this is maybe something that you will be able to get to if you have it on any lost item or stolen item so i might make a pcb or a tracker with this transceiver or maybe another long range transceiver because i do not really need it to be a uh, two-way um one way would be enough and then i also figured i could actually uh, include that function into the remote as well so that might be another option to have the tracker transmit data and you will see it here obviously the screen is not big enough to put a map on here and do that but uh, I don't know if this would have a GPS also Obviously this PCB doesn't, but uh, I could design another PCB with uh, the tracker capability in mind and have the at least show the direction to the tracker. So that would be an idea, one of many 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 I have. And uh, I also had the idea of making, since this is a regular digital clock, to Does it focus? No, it does not. Sorry about that. Let's 
So anyway, I had this idea of instead of doing a digital clock, since I do like uh, Nixie tubes, and at one time I wanted to buy a watch, a Nixie tube watch, but uh, never happened because I could never raise the money to buy it. But then I figured since the display uh, has very very high resolution on a, a pretty small display, I could make uh, my own Nixie tube watch with uh, obviously high quality graphics. I would probably make them myself pixel by pixel and um, since those would be uh, monochrome bitmaps I could make the Nixie tubes in any color somebody would like. Obviously I will go with the orange glow. Uh, it just will look more authentic and uh, so that's uh, what I want to do next. I don't know which next, but uh, I looking to do that as well. To have a Nixie tube watch, digital Nixie tube watch, that will illuminate any. Um, well, first of all, it will be smaller than any Nixie tube. Oops, sorry, I got into the settings menu. I'm holding the touch sensors here. Uh, on this one, I made it so on the remote. Why did the video just shake? Anyhow, um, on the remote, I do it so it will. Ha I will have to touch two sensors at once to get anything going. And on this, I will probably make the the menu uh, sensor uh, delayed, so you have to long press into. To go into the menu so you won't accidentally uh, change the settings all the time that would be annoying but anyhow that was what i have in mind also and i wanted to mention it and uh, i think this is it for today um lately i'm doing more videos and i'm no i don't know if it's good or bad if i'm doing too many or if I'm doing them too long or too short, uh, please, if you like to comment, uh, please do so. And so I know what I should do. First of all, I need to get used to the camera on this phone uh, before I could touch and uh, focus, but that doesn't work on here. So sorry if the uh, video is not all the way focused anyhow this is it for today um, thank you very much for all your support and my eight patreons I have thank you very much and all the support that I also received from Banggood uh, even though it takes a long time to get paid out by them and somehow I cannot use the money to buy something because uh, they always have something on sale and then it says I cannot use my points to buy anything from sale. So that's why I have to withdraw it and then it takes like 10, 10 days, up to 10 days for them to review it. And then finally, and it's like, I mean, I just did a withdrawal of $25. So I'm waiting a week for it. Um, yeah this was it for today so anyway thank you very much and uh, take care everybody